Good morning, everybody. We have five district court nominees to consider today. And if it's okay with you, Senator Feinstein, could we have our friends from Mississippi introduce their nominees and we'll make opening statements. I know they're busy. Senator Wicker. Thank you, thank you very much. Chairman Graham and Ranking Member Feinstein, it's good to be back with you. And I'm pleased to join my colleague from Mississippi and friend, Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith, in introducing two outstanding young Mississippi attorneys uh, Christy Johnson and Taylor McNeil, President Trump's two nominees to serve on the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Mississippi. Christy Johnson has the distinct honor of being Mississippi's first Solicitor General. In that new role, she has been Mississippi's lead advocate for appellate litigation, and she's worked closely with the State Attorney General in crafting legal strategy for significant cases. The American Bar Association gave her a qualified rating to serve as a U.S. District Judge, which, as you know, is the highest rating the ABA gives in a, a district judgeship. That rating speaks to her unique record of accomplishment as a public servant, private attorney, and professor. Ms. Johnson served over five years as a federal prosecutor in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Jackson, where she prosecuted fraud and financial crimes as part of the Civil Division. She, was, she also uh, made her mark in private practice at Ogletree, Deacons, Nash, Smoke, and Stewart PC in Jackson, focusing on labor and employment issues. She's a native of Hurley, Mississippi, and Ms. Johnson attended the University of Mississippi, graduating in 2003. She also attended Mississippi College School of Law, where she graduated summa cum laude, the second uh, highest uh, graduate in her class. As a law student, she served as executive editor of the Law Review. She received numerous uh, Amjur Awards, American Jurisprudence Awards in areas such as criminal procedure, legal research and writing, and employment discrimination. She worked as a law clerk for Judge Sherian Acock of the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Mississippi, and uh, I can assure you that Judge Acock is an enthusiastic fan of Christy Johnson. She also served uh, for Judge Leslie Southwick of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. So she's had clerkships in the district and um, appeals court level. She also taught legal writing as an adjunct professor at Mississippi College School of Law and performed an externship in the Mississippi Attorney General's Office. Ms. Johnson is a member of the American Ends of the Court, the Federal Bar Association, and the Federalist Society. She resides in Brandon, Mississippi. Um, members of the committee, I will note th that the Southern District of Mississippi has never had a woman member of the federal uh, judiciary. So Ms. Johnson's nomination is particularly momentous and presents this committee with a historic opportunity. Um, now, as to our other nominee, Taylor McNeil's life has been marked by excellence at every point. He is a partner at the law firm of Brunini, Grantham, Grower, and Hughes, PLLC, where he oversees the Gulf Coast office at age 37. Uh, he, too, has a qualified rating from the ABA. He has led a distinguished uh, 12 years at the firm, handling both bench and jury trials in federal and state court. He has served as lead counsel for numerous appeals to the Mississippi Supreme Court, the Mississippi Court of Appeals, and the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. His clients include individuals, government entities, and businesses while covering a vast range of law. Taylor McNeil also maintains a strong pro bono practice representing clients who would not normally be able to afford legal services. And um, Lucky is the pro bono client who gets Taylor McNeil as his counsel. Mr. McNeil graduated cum laude from the University of Mississippi, where he was senior class president and a member of the Ole Miss Rebels football team. He went on to earn his JD from the University of Mississippi School of Law, and he served on the Mississippi Law Journal. Mr. McNeil has been widely recognized as a young attorney to watch. 
he was named a Mid-South Rising Star in business litigation for eight years in a row and was listed three years in a row on the under 40 hot list for the United States in benchmark litigation. Mr. Chairman, I dare say that neither you nor I uh, received such a distinction. Uh, it's also rev uh, relevant that Mr. McNeil is active and widely respected in the community. He serves on the school board for the Pascagoula Gaucher School District. He's an elder in his church, the First Presbyterian Church in Pascagoula, and has been president of the Rotary Club in Biloxi. He's also been a member of the Harrison County Bar Association, holds memberships in the American Inns of Court, the Federal Bar Association, the Fifth Circuit Bar Association, and the Federalist Society. He lives in Pascagoula with his wife, Jessica, and their two children. Mr. Chairman, we have two outstanding nominees from Mississippi today. I only regret that the pandemic prevents us from seeing them today in Washington, D.C. in person, but they will, I think, be impressive in uh, whatever manner of testimony they are able to impart to the committee, and I recommend both of them uh, most highly. Thank you. They have been well introduced, and uh, <clears throat> hope springs eternal for both of us, maybe under 80, <laughs> over 65, under 80 lawyers. Uh, Senator Hyde-Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It is truly an honor and a privilege to introduce and recommend Ms. Christy Hanson Johnson of Brandon and Mr. Taylor McNeil of Pascagoula to serve as U.S. District Court judges for the Southern District of Mississippi. I am uh, grateful to you and the ranking member and the distinguished members of the committee for the opportunity to speak in support of these two very outstanding individuals. These bright young lawyers are respected within the Mississippi legal community and are excellent choices to serve on the judiciary. And while I'm confident the committee has reviewed both of their impressive resumes, I'd like to briefly highlight some of their most notable achievements and personal qualities. It was such a pleasure to recommend Christy Johnson for the judgeship, and everyone I know and I've spoken to had nothing but glowing remarks about her professionalism and her true desire for public service. We, um, we are just so proud of these two because when I say Mississippi's finest, that they are sure they're in the very top. Christy is currently serving as Mississippi's first Solicitor General, as Senator Wicker alluded to, and she's had significant professional experience in the U.S. Attorney's Office practice and clerking for the U.S. Circuit Court and District Court judges. Christy would achieve another first in Mississippi's judicial history. As uh, Senator Wicker said, she will be the first woman to serve as a judge for the Southern District of Mississippi and her nomination will bring important perspective to the federal judiciary. Taylor McNeil's legal experience, judicial philosophy, and good character will make him an outstanding jurist for the uh, Southern District. Taylor has spent the past 12 years with Brunini, Grantham, Grower, and Hughes Law Firm, and he is the current partner in charge of the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Taylor is a standout lawyer with extensive litigation experience and he is well equipped to take on this new role. I have no doubt both nominees will serve the American people well when they take a seat on the federal bench. I am thankful to President Trump for nominating these qualified, impressive, and solid conservative candidates to these district court vacancies. My colleagues, Senator Wicker and I are proud to support Christy Johnson and Taylor McNeil and urge the Judiciary Committee to approve their nominations very quickly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, thank you both. You have very good, outstanding nominees. I appreciate both. Uh, 